came out 20, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 10 years. 10 freaking years. Wow. <clears throat> 10 whole freaking years, man. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, we are in the final throes of what is once was Arcade. Arcade that has transferred between so many different people's hands, you can't even count. Uh, finally, Cacao is closing the doors to Arcade, and I figured this is like, I think the server is going to be up for at least like one or two more days after uh, me making this video. Uh, there's people still playing to the very end, which is just a testament to how much people love this game, how much I love this game as well. Uh, and there's just so much to be said about how this game was handled, uh, why I got to where it is. Um, and I don't think I'll be able to touch upon that on this video. It just needs a whole separate video for each, probably each reason. Um, but I'd say that maybe one of the nails in the coffin, uh, definitely has to be the opening of private servers. So you have like at least two private servers that I know of. One is really good. The classic one is really good. If you haven't already, I would suggest looking that one up. Um, they're going to be going on past the life of this official server. Um, and then you have uh, the other Rage one that I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with. Um, that a lot of people I know are, are playing on that one specifically. Uh, I'm not too sure. It's probably because they're farther along ahead. But here we are at the at the end of the of, you know, Cal saying we're going to support this. And look how much has yet to actually been revealed as far as map goes. This game had so much more that it was going to be able to give you. Like this island was going to open up. There's so much land down here that was supposed to open up. We haven't gotten to see what full Arcage was, which is unfortunate because I was hoping that they would probably release a last minute patch that allows us to like at least access to all the other areas but then i thought about it the other areas were never really finished at all by uh xl games they just xl games basically abandoned this game uh are you playing on a private server or are you waiting for arcade 2 i don't think arcade 2 is coming my dude i <laughs> i i don't think arcade 2 is 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 actually gonna make it out um I'm, I might go back to playing classic because I just, I don't know. I miss arcade so much, but if I do go back, I'll probably go back to classic. If anything, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too much of a fan of arc rage, but I'll probably go back to classic. Uh, arc age two, if they do come out with arc age two, I don't even know if I would even invest my time into it. Just considering like what happened with arc age one. Um, in the massive, like they made an, a game that I would say could have rivaled uh, Final Fantasy and uh, Guild Wars 2 as far as like playability content wise. It's just none of that was, none of that was, it wasn't fostered, it wasn't implemented, it just wasn't there. So here we are, <laughs> last few days. This is what we have. Just a server, just everyone just waiting for everything to just end. Which is unfortunate. Anywho, I figured a little bit of time before work, I'd jump on and play a little bit, see how the server's doing, see what people are up to. It is a sad period of time. I agree, man. I agree. I think, to be honest with you guys, man, the closest we came to this game being saved was Gamigo taking over the game. And for some weird reason, they weren't, they were like fostering, they were listening to me at the very end when it was too late. Like, I really wish that they would foster the community a lot more. They did a lot of that towards the end of their, their, uh, their time with the game. 
dude i was i was on board with just completely spending none all of my time helping helping get the word out about the game and bringing more people more foot traffic back to the game and then they just dropped the ball and i was like okay well if you don't if i don't have your support how am i going to support you and then that's when i decided to just up and leave dude like i was like i can't do it anymore. i can't i can't love something that that won't love me back <laughs> you know what i mean I, got, I had no choice i had to leave i had to go man and it hurt because i knew exactly what was gonna happen i knew it was gonna happen and then i got the the word from one of the devs that amazing amazing person uh she was like oh hey by the way uh, cacao is completely taking over this game from gamigo and i was like oh no dude no no when i heard that i knew for a fact what was gonna happen exactly what was gonna happen i knew this day was like almost inevitable i'm happy the community still like freaking found the original server files i'm happy that this game gets to live on in private servers because to be honest with you after experiencing classic it's ran better and it just goes to show you that there's nothing wrong with the game it's just the management that doesn't understand the game or how to run it is the problem but they tried everything dude they brought in people that actually played the game to work as uh as liaison they they brought in uh content creators to try to help promote the game <clears throat> but they just kept they just kept making bad decision after bad decision after bad decision which um it's incredible to see people still holding on to this game to the very end though in my opinion i thought like the last few days it would just be dead but we still have people here holding on holding on what does this mount look like wow when did they add this to the game this guy looks crazy how fast is But anywho, um, yeah, man, I don't, I don't know if the private servers have access to all the new content that, uh, that the main branch does. I really, 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 really hope Kakao releases all the server files that they have for this game since they're not going to be hosting it anymore. Um, but you and me both know how companies act when it comes to server files of games, um, they like to just let it die with them, which is the weirdest thing ever. Hopefully, they, I, I really hope that, like, you know, all the private servers get access to the entire full part of this game. It's coming. It's coming. 8.5 just hit. Um, y y wait, what? So they have access to all the server files, is what you're saying. I guess I'm going to have to play Arc Rage, dude. I guess I'm gonna have to play Arc Rage. No cap. I'm gonna have to come back to Arc Rage. Okay. I'm gonna try out Arc. Wait, what's going on? Oh, <gasps> no. Do I have that setting on that stops me from going through portals? My character is Jack, bro. I don't think I can go through portals or anything. I'm gonna have to like relog. Wait, what? They got the dragon up here? Oh, I guess because they gave out so much stuff. Yeah. Look at that. They got the red dragon. This is the first time I've ever seen the red dragon on here in the entire time this game's been going. That's crazy. The West never gets this. I don't think I'd be really, really shocked. I, I, my, 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 like, okay. So the one thing that also shocked me, right? 
was uh what was that level five game came out with a game called fantasy life or i'm gonna keep calling this fantasy life uh was it fantasy life i think it's called fantasy life yeah fantasy life anyway on the 3ds it was an incredible game life skill game i loved it to death then they released a phone game and the phone game was was good but like really predatory it was horrible the way it was ran but anyway they they ran it to the ground and then our bolt trend games ran into the ground and then they left it to die i didn't think for the life of me that level five would ever come out with another uh fantasy life game ever and then they announced at the end of this year that they're going to be releasing fantasy life for the switch which blew me away so same thing with arc age arc age has been ran into the absolute ground over the past 10 years i don't think i don't think we will see uh, arc age 2 even though it's already been in development i don't know if they'd abandon it i hope that they do but if they do i'm gonna be absolutely floored i don't know if i'll play it though i i don't have that much confidence with this team as far as finishing a game because this is the most unfinished mmo in my life that had so many good qualities to it so many good mechanics that kept people playing an unfinished game for 10 years think about it they never finished anything in this game in the entire 10 years that this game has been running the entire 10 years <laughs> And still people played this game religiously. So hopefully they release, I'll probably like stay on the sidelines until they actually finish a game and release it. I, I don't know, man. Perpetual, perpetual uh, early mode for like forever. And in every, every single uh, event area or whatever they released, they would have to close it because of performance issues. And you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh man uh actually this is gonna be a thumbnail for the youtube video i'm pretty much clipping from this stream to be honest with you uh dude i forgot how to take a freaking screenshot in game isn't it print screen no print screen's not working bro i'm losing my mind but i'll do it the old-fashioned way there like right here nope maybe like right here perfect there we go i got it gotta take a picture of the dragon because literally i've never seen the dragon here <laughs> it's only when the game ends that we actually get a dragon <laughs> that is so sad oh man all right wow that is it that will be the last time i log in uh Arcage to Arcage proper to the official Arcage server. That is the last time I log in on 625 2024. That is it. So now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna head over to my uh, programs and remove, remove late Arcage. Do I have it through Steam? I think I might install it through Steam. And we had the, what did we have? We had the, the, the um, Tryon launcher. Then we moved, it moved to Steam. Then they had like the cacao launcher that they were using for a little bit. I think Amigo even had a launcher too. Like that one launcher got rebranded so many times. <laughs> this love hate relationship that I've had with Arcage for so many years has just been an absolute crazy ride, man. Not even with just Arcade itself, but with like Arcade, the 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 people that are that were entrusted to run the game itself, uh, doing promotion runs, the long like 
crazy long streams that I did of this game, the, the different people that I ended up meeting along the way, the friendships that I made along the way um, that are still in Discord to this day, the drama, <laughs> the clips that were made of me. I love this game so much to the point that when I got pissed off at the game, I really got pissed off at the game because I loved because I I'm pissed for a reason. You know what I mean? On Steam alone, it says I put in more than 2000. Hold on. Let me see if you guys can see this on Steam alone. Yeah, 2000, 2090, uh, 2029.2 hours. That's just on Steam. Not to mention all the hours that I put in in the lifetime of playing this game. Like, it's, it's, it would be probably 10,000 hours or something like that. Probably crazy, crazy amount of hours put into this game. But just on Steam alone, and I didn't even really play on Steam primarily. This was like towards the end of its life, uh, life cycle. I put in 2,000 hours. This was the game that I played, man. This was it. This was it. I remember, dude, I remember when it was uh, it was first launching and I was in the middle of playing Guild Wars 2 with my friends. It was back in 2024, or 2014, I'm sorry. And um, in 2014, it was a big pivotal moment in my life as well. So this game kind of marked a, sentim a huge sentimental moment in my life because my father passed away and I was in a transition of moving from Virginia to uh, Jersey. And that was my, that was like a big move that I was making with my family. And it was a huge upheaval of my life at that time. Cause I was like, kind of like starting from scratch. And I was like, well, at least I have arcades to play. I'm getting this game. I'm throwing down 150. I believe that this is going to be an amazing game. So I threw the, the 150 down. I got as many people as I possibly could to come with me from, um, from Guild Wars 2. And we started our adventure when the game like first launched in the in the pre-alpha state played through pre-alpha played through uh closed alpha then open alpha then uh closed beta and then open beta and then finally the game actually launched launched and we jumped into the first official server and was going crazy on the first official server and oh man it was it has just been a crazy ride the entire time man. it really has been i'm over here showing you guys my mail my bad it's been a crazy ride absolute crazy ride 